is Kimberly Sherry, Intuitive Healer, and this month I'm here to teach you about how you can enjoy the present moment. There's three main reasons why we want to be in present time, and the first has to do with the fact that we can only create any changed potential outcomes for the future in the present moment. And if we've gotten in a bad habit of worrying, so worrying about the future, what's going to happen next, that would be a great reason to learn how to be in the present moment. And also, if we have much of our energy stuck in the past, worrying about regrets and things we should have done differently, this would be a great reason to learn how to be in present time. So I can almost guarantee you that if you ever find yourself getting a little spun out, that you've either jumped into the future or you're stuck in the past. That is, unless your hair's on fire. Usually in the present moment, everything is usually fine. So it's uh, really important to get in the present moment, and I'm going to show you how you can get into the habit of doing that. So there's two ways that you can learn how to be back in the present moment. And if you're a seeing person, you could do this with your eyes closed. So you would just close your eyes and imagine a big golden sun above your head. And this will become like a big magnet. And it's going to call back and attract any energy that you have out into the future or in the past. And so you would just close your eyes and imagine all your worrying coming into this big golden sun and all your regrets about the past. And you can check and see if you have any of your energy scattered maybe at work. And if you're at work, maybe you have some of your energy scattered at home. Uh, maybe you left some in the car. Just check and see wherever you have some of your scattered energy and just bring it all into that golden sun. And when you've sat there for a few moments and you think you've collected all of your energy, then you can open the bottom of that golden sun and just let all that energy pour into your body. And that will help to bring you back into the present moment. So that's one way. A second way is if you're more kinesthetic, so if you feel things, you can feel for the energy and it will be sitting uh, above your head but out in front of you if it's in the future and it'll feel a little spongy and you can just feel for that energy and just pull that back into vertical alignment where you'll be in the present moment. This vertical alignment is in present time. So you can feel that out in front of you or you can feel it out behind you if you have any energy in the past. So I do this with my clients and say if their, their head is here and this is the front and this is the back, you can just feel for where that energy is and I just bring that back into vertical alignment into present time. So those are two really simple and easy ways to bring yourself back into the present moment where all the joy and all the beautiful things that happen every single moment that we don't want to miss. Um, so when we're in the present moment, we'll enjoy more of that. So I hope you've uh, enjoyed our present moment and I look forward to seeing you again next month where I will be teaching you about how you can own more of your personal power and at the same time balance your masculine and feminine energies. So I look forward to that and in the meantime if you have any questions feel free to visit my website and you can always email me from there at KimberlySherry.com and if you'd like to work with me locally of course I'd love to do that and if you live far away, I also do sessions over the phone and via Skype. So lots of options. So I look forward to seeing you next month. Again, Kimberly Sherry, Intuitive Healer. Heal your body, heal your life. All right. Thank you.